video in today's video we'll be going over some dribble god combo dribble moves so if you're new to my youtube channel be sure to hit that subscribe button and do not forget to drop that like button as well for that fire for that lit ass intro like i said if you're new hit that subscribe button and hit that like button as well i greatly appreciate it, it helps out the video but nonetheless let's jump right into it so today's video as you guys can see right here this is a little preview of the moves that we're going to go over in today today i'm going to give you guys some two combo dribbles to bring to the park some brand new combos to bring to the park even though 2k18 is literally about to release in about a month i'm still dropping some brand new fire combos for you guys but today's uh video is actually going to revolve around the tie lost in between oh it was a crossover size of combo that's why he was in the thumbnail just in case you guys were wondering even though i know tie lost isn't really that good of a dribbler in real life but anyways these are the three signature styles that you're going to absolutely need for today's video you're going to need that basic size up elite three make sure you have that that's very important and of course like i just said you're going to need that crossover size up of tie lawson because if you guys did not know if you mix in that tie lawson and elite three it's like a tell part animation nonetheless and make sure you have that kobe bryant as well those are the three that you need and that's it you can have anything else you want besides those three now this is going to be the first combo move the tie loss and momentum crossover used by a lot of uh youtubers nowadays even though this game is almost finished his life cycle is almost completely done it's almost time for 2k18 as you guys can see on your screen you're literally teleporting the ball from left to right and then you're doing a momentum crossover the first thing you're going to want to do is simply just do the tie loss and crossover the ball is in my right hand so i'm simply flicking my right out stick left and right left and right that's all I'm really doing right here. That's the first step. Now, the next thing you want to do is that behind the back move and then do a, a momentum behind the back. It's very easy. So, if you want to break it down slowly, all you want to do is a momentum cross. Okay, all you want to do is start with the ball in your right hand. Do a basic crossover, left, right, no turbo. After you do that, do a momentum behind the back. And then after you have done that, do another momentum behind the back. As you guys can see on the screen right there, it's very easy. I'm pretty sure you guys can already tell how to do these moves by just looking at them. That's why I'm not going in depth and breaking down every single part of this move. But when 2K18 does come out, I'm of course going to break it down for you guys slowly. Just because it's going to be a brand new game. It's going to be completely different controls. As you guys know, the trailer actually dropped today. but and I'll cover that in future videos as you guys can see this is gonna be the ty lawson kobe bryant glitch combo move as you guys can see the ball is going in between my legs with the crossovers between the legs it's very fast into a hop jumper and that's exactly the next combo move we're gonna go over in today's video like i said these moves are revolving around that ty lawson teleport crossover animation so the first thing you're gonna want to do for this move like i said is gonna be that kobe bryant between the legs you guys already know how to do this this move has been in the game since this game came out all you want to do is flick your right arm stick that angle down and then flick it down once more to get that Kobe Bryant animation and you just want to keep on doing that and as soon as you finish that Kobe Bryant animation all you want to do is flick your right arm stick left to right to do that Ty Lawson crossover animation and after you have done that all you simply want to do is run to the left side and you're going to get this animation you see on the screen right there now all you want to do once you do that is hit that X button and flick your left arm stick to the right side to get this hop jumper animation and after you have done that you are completely done with combo move number two and that completes the combo moves for today's video like I said this today's video actually revolved around that Ty Lawson crossover size up combo for some reason when you mix it in with that elite three basic size up it always gets it always gives you that teleport crossover animation and it makes it look 
like you're spamming a lot of moves. So if you guys want to spam some moves, but at the same time you don't, this is a perfect combo move for you because it's gonna look like you're dribbling quick, but you're really not. All you're simply doing is flicking your right arm stick left and right, but the ball is going so fast that it looks like you're spamming moves. And you can literally just do that left, right, left, right, left, right. And it would look like you're spamming and people will call you a dribble god. That's all that what this Ty Lawson move is really for. It's gonna get you ankle breakers, like I said, because of all those crossovers, momentum behind the backs. But that concludes today's video. Thank you guys for checking out the YouTube video. Those were the Dribble God combos after patch 12. Do not forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button for some future NBA 2K17 and 2K18 content when that game does come out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.